Timeline infographics. Do you need to visualize a project timeline? Do you need to schedule an event? Or do you just want to learn about history? Today I'm going to be teaching you all about timeline infographics, so stay tuned. Hey folk, Alice from Vengage here. Today we're going to be talking all about timeline infographics. And I'll also teach you how to make your very own timeline infographic. So let's start with the obvious. What is a timeline infographic? A timeline infographic is a way to visualize and organize information in a certain date order or time order. Simply put, a timeline infographic is a way to visualize a bunch of things that either have happened or will need to happen over a certain time period. They're a way to visualize information in a date or time order. Timeline infographics are super easy to make and really fun to look at. What are timeline infographics used for? You might be looking to make a timeline infographic if you want to. Communicate project milestones and deliverables. Show the evolution of a product. Outline the origin story of a person or a character. Schedule and plan for big events. Or organise your work experience in an infographic resume. Okay, so how do I make a timeline infographic? Making a timeline infographic is super easy. There's a couple of steps you need to follow. Step number one. Firstly, create an outline for your timeline infographic. Gather all of the points you want your timeline infographic to include and start to order them by date or time. It's completely up to you if you want to work in ascending or descending order. Step number two. Pick a layout or a template. Now I'm going to go over this step in a bit more detail later in the video, but basically find a template or a layout that you like. The most popular timeline infographic layout is the list. And your third step, and the third step is to add the information that you've gathered into your timeline layout. We also have another video that walks you through all of these steps in detail, from concept to final design. I'll pop it just up there. So before I walk you through how to design your timeline infographic with a template, let me talk about how to pick a template. So Vengage actually has a bunch of fully customizable infographic templates that you can use regardless of your design skill. All of our templates have been created by our expert in-house designers and all you have to do is add the information and change up the colours and icons if you want. It's a really easy way to create a beautiful data visualization. The beauty of a fully customizable template is you can change so many elements to make the design completely your own. You can change the fonts, the colors, and even the layouts. You can simply replace the information in the templates with your own information. The type of template you pick depends on how much time that you have and how confident you are in your design abilities. The thing I will say about picking a template is don't worry about the size too much. You can always resize the template to fit your needs afterwards. Just pick something that you like the look of. If you're a less confident designer or if you're in a hurry, pick the template that closest resembles your desired look or your brand design. And if you want to learn more about branding, we've got a video for that too. I'll pop a link up there and down there, so check that out. You can also take into account how many points or sections you're going to need for your timeline infographic and pick a layout that already has that number of sections. If, for example, I was mapping out a project overview and just wanted a quick and simple design to show my colleagues, I'd take a look through the templates page and pick something that caught my eye. The templates are all broken down into categories to make it easier to search and you can also search words to get recommendations based on that. And of course you've got your recommended templates at the top as well. So now that we've talked through how to identify the sort of template that's going to work for you, I'm going to show you how to customise one of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I've got my glasses. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and open the template that I want to use in the editor. So I've been having a look and I think I'm going to use this one. It's really simple and I like how the colours and the circles really help the dates stand out. What I'm going to try and make here is a timeline that explains some of the marketing trends over the past decade. So something that has this date format is really great for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into create and that's going to load in the editor. Okay, so now that we've got this open the editor, I'm going to quickly talk you through where things are so you know what to look for. So on the left hand side we have our sort of create toolbar. This is if we need to add any elements such as text or icons or charts, we go into the left to add these to the design. 
There's another toolbar at the top, so different things are going to show up in this toolbar depending on what you have selected. If, for example, I have some text selected, we're going to be able to change the font, the size of the font, the colour of the font and the alignment. We can also add bullet points and numbers and if you have a business account we can add hyperlinks as well. If you're going to select something else, say a circle icon, we'd be able to see that we have the colour and we have the fill percent. So the fill percent is really handy if you want to have two colours within one circle. You can change it to anything you want. We have the colour. You can also add hyperlinks to these images. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Google Docs where I have all of my information already laid out in an outline. And I'm going to start inputting my text. So as we can see here, I've got a nice title at the top, the Marketing Trends Timeline Infographic. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste this into this box. Um, so now that I've got that in there, I'm going to make it bold so it really stands out. You can see that when I've made it bold, it's gone over to two lines. That just means that the text is a bit too long for the text box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the font size a little bit. I'm going to go back into my document and I'm going to select and I'm going to paste my introduction. So here we have the opposite issue where the introduction isn't long enough to fill the space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this over two lines and I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. It's far too big, so let's take that down to 20. So that's kind of the top. So scrolling down, it's time to start changing some of these. So the dates are actually all fine. These are all dates that I have in my timeline anyway. I just need to change the text next to it. So back into here, I can copy my content in my document, I split this out into different sections. So I've got the section, and then I've got the title, and then I've got the content, just so it's really easy once I come to do the infographic. I can select this, and I can copy this, and then I can paste that. So when it pastes, it's all in bold. I don't really want it all in bold. I only want some of it in bold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire thing and click at the top so it's not bold. And then I'm just going to select the last two words, getting smarter, and make those bold again. So you can just do this for all of the points. I'll just quickly zoom through this bit. Okay, so you can see that we've got to 2017 here. So my actual timeline needs two extra sections. It needs 2018 and 2019. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra sections to this. So at the top in settings, I'm going to go to page resize. and at height, I'm just going to add a bunch of pixels. I'm not sure exactly how many I need, but that doesn't matter because I can always add more or take them away. Cool. So now that I've done that, I'm going to select these layers and move them down to the bottom. One really cool thing you can do in Vengage is you can drag your arrow to select multiple items. So here I'm just going to click and hold down and drag a box across all of these lines. And then I'm going to move those down as well. So these alignment lines are really handy because it lets me know when I'm centering my document. Next I need to extend my timeline. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to drag it, we're going to resize it. So if you hover over the middle one of these, you can drag all the way down. There we go. Just a bit more. Perfect. And then we can do the same sort of drag effect that we did earlier. So we're just going to drag this. So this is selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to copy at the top. So this is a really easy way to add more elements to your infographic. So copy, and then drag this down, a bit further down, and then again with this one, we're going to copy, and drag it down to there. 
So we've got these two extra sections now, but we need to change the colours so that they fit in with this pattern of a rainbow. So clicking on this, we can see that it's all grouped together. This means that when we move something, we move everything. This is really handy if you have lots of different sections that you need to move. So what we can do is we can ungroup it at the top menu here. And then we can select each element that we need to change. So first we're going to select the circle. And let's do this a yellowy green. So in this colour wheel, we're going to click on this bit and just play around until we find a colour that we like. We can change the gradient of it or we can change the colour itself. So I quite like that one. So rather than trying to guess the exact same colour each time, what we can do is we can copy this hex code. So select and highlight and then Control and C to copy. And then when we click on this, we can just go in and just paste the hex code and then click enter and then it's all perfectly updated. So again here, we go to the top and ungroup and then we select the circle and we pick a colour. Let's do this kind of a bluey green. Oh, that's quite nice. So again, we select the hex code and copy and paste into the line. And then we can go in and update the text on the dates. So this would be 2018 and 2019. So the thing about Vengage is everything's really easy. You can just click on things and they automatically show you if they can be changed or not. It's really drag and drop. It's excellent if you don't have much design experience, if you've never used like the Adobe Suite or anything before. If you're just coming from a place where you've been using PowerPoint or Google Slides, this is really intuitive. So then back to our document and we can copy and we can paste. If you want to see what this looks like all in one, we can go to the top here and zoom out. So if we zoom out to 60%, we can see the entire thing. I think that looks really good and I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a copy. So this is available for premium and business users. Click on download in the top toolbar and you can export as a PNG, a PDF or even a PowerPoint. If you're on a free account, don't worry, you can share it as well. If you click on share, you can share a private link so that anybody you send this link to will be able to see a copy of your infographic. So that's how you'd customise a very simple timeline infographic. One last thing that I wanted to show you was all the different sorts of timelines that you can create. We've got a bunch of different templates on Vengage that are all fully customisable, but some of them are already themed around things that might be really handy for you. If you click onto the timeline infographics page, which I'll link down below, you can see that we've got all of these different sorts of timelines. There's so many of them. So a couple of things that I really want to highlight. We've got some such as this one, which is the morning routine. So this timeline template isn't a standard timeline, but it would be really good if you did have a child or somebody that you knew who needed a bit of extra guidance in the morning. This way you can use icons and times and information to really clearly set out what to do and when. If you were planning an event, you could use something like this timeline. So it's split into two sections of the morning and the afternoon with times of events very clearly laid out. If you are organising a conference or an all day meeting, this would be a really handy way to let your attendees know what to expect and when. If you are trying to release a project and needed a timeline for that, we've got some as well. I really like this one which is based around an eight week sprint, which is a term in tech that we use just to mean eight weeks of working on one project. Here it's broken down by each week and what is expected in that time. It moves down the page so your eyes are automatically drawn to the next week. And I really like the use of simple colours and icons in this. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed what we had to say, please give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe to Vengage for more.